All right, basic first things first. Uh, these are actually 12 point nuts. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter 12 point socket. Um, I actually had to order one special. I do not have a 10 millimeter 12 point socket um, just to do these things. But yes, it is metric uh, on your Harley. But the Brembo brakes are made in Italy. So, break the bolts free, which I already did before I shot this. Just save hassle. Pull both calipers off of here, or both caliper bolts off. Now you want to do this one caliper at a time, because uh, when you recompress the pads, um, as you push in on these ones, it'll want to push out on the other ones as the fluid is going back up to the reservoir. So it's important to just do one at a time, otherwise you'll overextend the other side and cause yourself a whole bunch of headache. So, got the brake caliper off right here. Then uh, right up here, hopefully you can see it, there is a little clip right here. This holds the, this is just a little safety clip that keeps the pin that actually holds the brake pads in from backing out. So in the most pliers or a little flathead screwdriver, put your finger on it so it doesn't fly away or you don't drop it. Little clip right there. Bada boom, bada bing. Uh, and from there, back the bolt out of the caliper. Now all this bolt really does is just hold the uh, brake pads in place in line. There's a little spring tab pushes on the other side. There's the bolt. Now before you actually take the pads out of the thing, um, you want to use the old pads to recompress the calipers. Since they're a quad piston, you can't just use a C-clamp like on a car. So we're going to take a large flathead screwdriver, we're going to put it here in between the pads, and we're going to give them a little bit of a twist. This is going to take a little muscle on your wrist, but uh, you'll feel them pop back in there. That one's a little stuck, but there it goes. Just give it a little twist, and you're going to have to work it around, because as you push one piston in, the other one's going to pop out a little bit, but go back and forth, and uh, you'll get them compressed in pretty far there. See? You push it all the way back. From there, take your screwdriver, pop them on out of there. Now, in case anybody was wondering, how do you know if your pads are bad? Um, the general rule for most brake pads, according to EBC, is the minimum thickness is 40 thousandths of an inch. A dime is 50 thousandths of an inch. So really, if you can get a dime in between the rotor and the backing plate here, uh, down inside the caliper, uh, they're considered still good. Once the point the dime doesn't fit, uh, the rule is it's time to start thinking about replacement. Now these Brembo calipers, they do have a little bit thinner of a pad in there, so keep that in mind. Um, they're already gonna start out a little bit thinner. Um, so the dime rule, you might wanna Air on the side of a little extra thin the dime, but don't push too far. Your front brakes don't screw around. So next step, we're gonna take the pad. Remember where our bolt hole is there. We're gonna line up the hole in the pad with that when we put it in. So we'll put the non-hole end in first up against the spring. Just take our thumb, pop it up in place there. Other pad here. Hole. Whoop, there we are. Pad there, up in there, push it up in place like so. Presto, pads are in there. Take our bolt that we just removed, slide it down through there, and start in with your Allen wrench. Now we're gonna give it a look, make sure um, right in here, we can see the pin is through the eyelet on both pads pushed up against the spring so the pads are secured up in place in there push back against the uh, frame of the caliper I'll make it easy to get on everything's all nice and tight in place um, if I had some brake clean on me which I don't uh, now would be a good time to hose down the caliper and get all the brake dust out but uh, I didn't so we're not going to do that take the caliper slide it right back into place just like so right where it was before take your bolts make sure the threads are clean of debris Start in the top one. In case you wonder why I'm sweating, it is super humid here today in tropical Cleveland, Ohio. Take your bottom one. Start that one in there. The top one in there. 
12 millimeter, 10 millimeter 12 point socket. I'm snug them both down. Everything's good and lined up. Now, tie them up to proper torque specifications, whatever the manufacturer recommends. Now, what a lot of people, me included, will do when we have a black magic marker on hand, which I don't, um, a lot of people do is we'll mark the uh, bolt here. Uh, I'll eventually take a little black magic marker. I'll put a little dot right down here, and that's the same on the other spot. And what they'll do is that way I can look at it. I know where the dots are. It's just a little black magic marker dot. I'll put a little dot on there, and then when I'm doing my walk around before a pre-ride or before a trip or something like that, or even at a gas station, I can take a look at that, and I know the bolts aren't backing out. Um, I'll be able to see by where the bolts lined up at. But anyways, back. Just a little tip for you there. Allen wrench. Make sure this pin is tight. Don't over torque it. Just some fine threads. Take your little clip that holds it in there. There's a little groove on the bolt that it just snaps into like so. And there you have it. From here, pump up your lever. It'll push pads back into place. Take it out. Take it for a test ride. Uh, that's about all I really got. If you like what you see, click the subscribe link below. Um, you can check out uh, my blog and uh, tech info and stuff on my other YouTube videos. And on my website, www.noblemoto.com. That's K-N-O-B-L-E.com. And uh, if you'd like, come take class from me up at Skidmark Garage here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, that's all I got. Ride fast, take chances.